All right, let's get to work, remembering that work equals force times distance. But what happens when everything is dependent on your location or your orientation or the direction that you're moving? Well, in this case, computing work requires integrating a one-form field. Let's consider the case where we have force represented as a vector field. We have a force field F, and we're moving along a path gamma. In this case, if the vector field is of the form Fxi plus Fyj, then what we're going to do is build the one form associated to this. We're going to build Fx dx plus Fy dy. Why? Now, what does that look like? What that looks like is you've got some vector field F, you've got a path gamma, then what you do is you examine the one form associated to that vector field along that path, feed to that one form the tangent vectors to the path. That returns a scalar field, which you can then integrate. So in regions where the vector field is pushing in the same direction that you're walking, that's going to contribute to work positively. Whereas if the vector field is pointed opposite to the way that you're moving, that is a negative contribution to the work done by the field. Of course, when the field is orthogonal to your direction of motion, then it's not contributing anything at all to the work. The work one form Alpha sub F allows you to compute the network done by the force field along the path by integrating that one form field over the path gamma. That's how you compute the work done by the field along the path. Let's say we're looking at a really simple example. Let's say a linear vector field, 2xi minus 3yj, and we have an equally simple path, a straight line path from the point negative 2 comma 3 to 3 comma negative 1. The first thing that one would do is convert that vector field to a work one form, 2x dx minus 3y dy. Then you parameterize the path. This is going to be simple. The x coordinate is going to be negative 2 plus 5t. The y coordinate, 3 minus 4t, as t goes from 0 to 1. You can see that's a straight line path. You can see that when t is 0, you're at the point negative 2, 3. And when t is 1, you're at the point 3, negative 1. Now, the derivative of gamma, because this is a really simple parameterization, is going to be a constant. It's going to be the constant vector 5, negative 4. Now, to get the network done by the field along the path, you integrate this work one form. You integrate 2x dx minus 3y dy along gamma. Converting this to an integral in the parameter t, what do we do? We take 2 times x, which is negative 2 plus 5t, times dx, which is 5, the x component of gamma prime. Then, for the second term, we take negative 3 times y, which is 3 minus 4t, times dy, which is negative 4dt. Now, expanding all of that out and simplifying that integrand gives us the integral of 2t plus 16. As t goes from 0 to 1, that's a simple integral. That is going to give you a final answer of 17. Now notice that this is really the work done by that force field along the path. This is not the work that is required for you to do in order to overcome that field. So if you were in an airplane flying in a velocity field of wind, you might be interested in computing the work that you have to do to overcome the wind. What would that be? Oh, that would be the opposite of what we've been computing. You would flip all of the arrows around. You would put a minus sign in front of that alpha F. Be careful when you're doing problems involving work to consider whether you're talking about the work done by the field or the work done against the field. That's how you handle work with a one form.